guys, it's Melissa with Teaspoon Soapery and my daughter Bethany, and we're here to talk about our May Awareness Soap, which is our our best, the, the feature that we like the most about our monthly soaping. And this month we chose lupus. Yeah, so every month we um, do a, an awareness soap to bring mm -hmm. awareness to a disease or disorder. Um, we don't just want to bring awareness, but respect yes, and inclusion. Definitely. Um, and this month, like she said, is lupus. Um, lupus is a chronic inflammatory disorder where the immune system attacks its own tissues. Um, right. Symptoms include, but are not limited to, pain, joint pain, cardiovascular yeah. symptoms, hair loss, the butterfly rash on the face is a big one. Um, oh. And um, it affects... Uh, 1.5 million um, Americans. Major, mostly women. And 90% are women. Um, and, and women of color. Yes, if you're a woman of color, um, you're two to three times more likely to have um, developed lupus than if you're um, Caucasian, um, which is unfortunate. But, um, you know, there are a few men here and there that have it, but right. like I said, 90% are women. Um, and uh, a few people with lupus, some people um, actually don't have any symptoms at all, oh, which lucky. Um, is lucky, but um, lupus does come in um, kind of like waves, you know, it goes on and off, like you'll have really good couple of months, and then you'll get into like a flare-up, which um, it seems like a lot of autoimmune yeah, disorders it sort of does. do that. Like that yeah. Um, so yeah, um, lupus is, uh, they're ribbon color is purple mm -hmm. so um we decided to make a purple soap um we're doing a couple different shades of purple, purple yeah um like a more bluey purple and a more reddy purple and then um butterflies butterfly, yeah, are also um a symbol of lupus and so we're doing a purple butterfly on coming top. up out of the top yeah of course with a bunch of beautiful glitter yes. too um the glitter we're using is so beautiful <laughs> <laughs> i'm excited so let's go Hi guys, here we are. Um, we are making our lupus awareness soap. Um, it is going to be purple and purple and purple. Um, <laughs> so here we go. Um, our oils are nice and up to temperature. And here's our lye water, also up to temperature. I have the proper safety gear on. Um, here we go. She has the clean shirt on to make a mess. I know, it's, it's clean right now. It's stained, clean. Oh, um, let's see how today goes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring it up to um, just past emulsion. Oh, well, I probably should plug this in first. Already crushing on the um, fragrance. Yes, the fragrance will be beautiful. Too bad there's not smell of vision. You could, <laughs> you could have a guess of what it is. Yes, but it smells delicious. Okay, so we got some soup, and we're gonna split it off into so three two, different two cups. So two cups, two cups, two cups. Yep. Hmm. A little bit more. I can see that one. Okay, there. Yep. That one I can see two cups. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okie doke. So, we're going to add the colors first and then the fragrance oil because the fragrance oil we've never used before, but it does say that it accelerates. So, let's see how much we have. We have. About four tablespoons, so we'll put two tablespoons in there. Can I have a? Actually, I'll just use this. We'll guesstimate my uh, two tablespoons. So, what colors are that, Miss Beth? This one is titanium dioxide and a little bit of um, purple vibrance. Oh, purple vibrance. Yes. By Nurture Soap. Yes. I like that. Okay. And then the next one, this piece, is our pinky purple. Let's not put it in the same thing. <laughs> Where's my cloth? Where'd my cloth go? That's not my cloth. Where did I put my cloth? 
Oh, right there? Okay. Well, <laughs> okay. It's fine. You can have that claw. Thank you. Um, this one is a mixture of Northern Lights by Nurture Soap. Nurture Soap. Um, berry, uh, berry Twist. Twist, also by Nurture Soap. Mm -hmm. And, um, and My Red Obsession. By Nurture because Soap. Because it wasn't quite pink enough. Yes. Beautiful. Perfect. Can you tell Beth's an artist? I'd be like, hey, close enough. Three tablespoons. So we need one and a half tablespoons. No. Oh. Is that one and a half? Yeah, sounds like that, right? Okay. And then this one will be our dark plain purple. And this one is just purple vibrates. By Nutri Soap. Yes. One tablespoon. Oh, that's pretty. That's not quite. I'm going to mix those around. We're going to start with the lightest color because that is a smart thing to do. Mm. So this is our lupus soap, right? Yes. Um, so lupus is an inflammatory disorder um, which uh, in which the body kind of attacks its own cells, um, which I kind of know a lot about <laughs> body attacking itself. Um, because I have a couple different um, immune disorders, uh, but I do not have lupus, thankfully. I'm very glad. Um, I know lupus is a very tough disease, uh, disorder, whatever you want to call it, um, because it does flare up. It comes and goes. It's not an all the time thing. Um, so that's very difficult. So it must be hard to diagnose because of that. Yeah, I'm sure. We're gonna. Oh, look at it. It's really a different color, so that's nice. Yeah, we got look at pretty that pretty purple, girl. Some pretty purple, and very light pretty purple. Right. Okie doke. We need some fragrance oils. Perfect. So, let me see that. In this, we have Kaylin Clay mixed with Wisteria. Yes, Wisteria, which is, which is one of my favorites. Beautiful floral fragrance. It's very strong, which is very nice, but. Um, you only need a little bit, um, but um, it's a really nice floral. It's sweet, lily of the valley, jasmine, barely any rose, but um, it's really sweet. Definitely plain wisteria. Smells right. Smells exactly like the um, Yankee Candle. Actually. Which? That's how I got the <laughs> idea. But yeah, we've been. Uh, Working on our trying to figure out what to do for summer. Yeah. Last year we kind of got railroaded, as most everybody did. Yeah. And trying to figure out what we're going to do, where we're going to go. Yes, because yeah. mom has, um, she works at a school, so she has some. About some five weeks off in the summer, which is the, the coolest. <laughs> I know. But, uh, but it's like, where do we go? And then, of course, we have to take our dogs. Yes. And, and it has to be wheelchair accessible. Which is you, is way harder than you think. Yeah, you can bring your pets about half of everywhere, and then truly yeah. accessibility is. Thick. Um, we are going to. I'm gonna blend that one, but I think I'm just gonna stir. Probably with a whisk would be better, but. You want me to get a whisk? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. Is this racing? It is racing. I'm gonna have to blend it. So what's ricing? Does it ruin it? No. It's just when it gives you a rice consistency. Because the fragrance will react with the soap. Which you can just blend out ricing. Okay. So I started, I got into the computer and I put, you know, because um, we're thinking about the beach. Because Beth likes the beach, we all like the beach, and we, we truly want to. for a while. We haven't been for a while, and we want to go somewhere that has sticky thick. Okay. The oh, she's gonna pour. So I'm gonna do it in the pot swirl on top. Yeah. Um. So we wanted to go somewhere where they have the uh sand wheelchairs. Yes. 
We want to do a little pep talk. Okay. It's up to you. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, so I, you know, I just put beach, and then I put two puppies, and you know, a, how many adults are going to be there, and then uh, uh, hit that wheelchair accessible button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not so much came up. Yeah. I mean, but uh, so we're still trying to figure it out. And then it's like, is it going to be safe too? That's another aspect because um, COVID is still, COVID is still and then um, Beth can't get the second shot. We got the first shot and she ended up in the hospital. Yes. So we got the news today, obviously, no second shot. Yeah. So she still has to be super careful. Well, we all are going to be super careful. Yeah, even if, you know, even if we all got the vaccine and it was perfectly fine, still obviously be careful because it's not, you know, it's not a perfect science. And then that's not what vaccines are for, you know. No. Vaccines are to help, but they're not to, you know, they're not going to magically cure you from ever getting it ever again. Right. Do we have glitter? We didn't pull out glitter. All right, all is all is safe. Yes, perfect. We found glitter. We found glitter, and um, we remember that we have embeds to put on. Um. <laughs> Which I'll be grabbing next. So this is. Uh, don't put it on. You can put it in the jar. Obviously. That's what I was going to do. Okay. But it's uh, silver stardust from Good Glitter. Yes. Um. And their stardust, I believe, means that it has different sizes of yes, um, different like millimeters sizes of um, their glitter. Is that enough to pieces. put on basically purple or more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's good. Oh well, we have to put on the other stuff too. So okay, um, I'll just pour it off. Well, yeah. Let's see that now. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to just do a little back and forth. Oh, nice little. I fix this very easy. Okay. Uh, it smells intoxicating. And it smells so nice. Okay. Um. I'm not sure if the purple will show, but. And we're applying this beautiful glitter with um, a nice little makeup brush, an unused makeup brush that we just used for soap glitter. Um, and it makes putting glitter on really easy. Yeah, it does. A lot less messy. I mean, it's still messy, but because it's glitter, you know. But, but um, it's good glitter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, did we tell them where we decided we were thinking about going? Oh, we're thinking about going to the beach. Yes. But um, I have eyeballed a couple of places that are hmm, pretty much accessible. I, they're not, I think if we get the right one, it would be accessible. Um, Bess not just wheelchair bound. She can with her walker and with help kind of get it in yeah. and and stuff. So, oh, and these are those beautiful butterflies. This one, though. That... And if you guys follow our Instagram, yes, you'll have seen these beautiful um, hand painted butterflies. Um, they're purple and very pretty. And we're going to place them like this, maybe a little bit more in. Like this. Like they're flying out. Yeah. Trying to get free. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, so at the beach, it's not just the beach that I like, it's the whole like area, the coast. Um, there's, you know, like sh little shops, like little trinket shops, and uh, because I'm a big window shopper. Uh, not me. I love browsing. <laughs> um, I will be sitting somewhere with my phone <laughs> playing my game. Oh, but did we get any? What? I may not get... Um, Oh, this one's a little broken. It's a little thick. We might not get what? Can we get ten on there? Yeah. Okay. I got two more, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine, ten. Perfect. I counted. I marked them out. I planned. I need. Not that one. 
That one's the one I tried painting both sides. Okay, beautiful. Here we are. We're going to cut our April awareness, no, May awareness soap. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. May awareness soap, and you can see the really pretty swirls on the Oh, wow, side. that turned out so nice. And the pretty top. And the butterflies the beautiful flying. Beautiful butterflies. Trying to emerge from the bar. It smells very nice. It smells like a very sweet floral, um, which is nice. And I think it was um, wisteria. Yes, it was. Which is what we went with. And so here we go. Excited to. Ooh, a little wet, which is not too bad. That's a fun swirl. Oh, wow. That is. Ooh, that is nice. That's a really fun swirl. Yeah, I like that. You see the sweet little butterfly sticking out? Which um, we didn't want it too far out to break off because it's, you know, delicate. But we wanted it to kind of symbolize, you know, trying to merge. <laughs> merge. Well, you know, like emerge from the cocoon. <laughs> sure. That's what we wanted to symbolize. Oh, that's what I did. And not lupus. <laughs> well, well, it's for lupus. I know it is. But people, it's a, that's a rough, yeah. rough... Uh, Rough disorder. disorder. That's really cool looking. I know. How do we do that? That looks <laughs> nice. Cut that. That's pretty cool too. Oh, that's why I love this world. They're so different. And then you just sort of like. I know. It's very cool. Um, this one was a very thin swirl, so um, all the colors really get a good mix in together. Um, Another beautiful cut. Ooh, that one's got some of that uh, um, purple vibrance in it. You can see that nice big swirl there. These are beautiful. And they do smell really nice. And yeah, the wisteria is nice. You gotta remember that was my choice. <laughs> I didn't care what we used it in. I just wanted to get it. Yeah, of course. Um, they have it. Each one's so different. Like this one's got a big patch of that. Um, mm -hmm. red or purple, and yeah, I love them. They're so fun. Like, every time you take a shower or wash your hands, which nowadays we're washing our hands a million times, um, you know, you have something fun to look at. You, like, have something fun to look forward to, um, which I think is so fun. You know, that's why this artisan handmade soap, well, one of the many reasons why artisan handmade soap is so, um, so you know great um another one is you know it has um you know what's in it you know um i mean if you look in the back of a bar of soap um it's got a lot of detergents and a lot of harsh chemicals very drying and um that's why they have to put all those oils in it um you know and butters and stuff because it's so drying and um you know ours is just made out of oils. So oh, we're back. Look at those beautiful bars. Yeah, the second bar had a, a little less of a thin swirl around the, well, it did around the outside and had some um, more, you know, clumps of color. Had some white ones here. Still super pretty. It's though. super pretty. Butterfly. Nice glitter on top. Yes. That's some good glitter. Yeah, the good, from the good glitter. Yeah just great you know I hope they um, come out with some more colors more mixes we really like the mixes um, you know it's super pretty but it smells great and I think they turned out perfect and it's um, you know good homage to lupus yep okay and here's the finished bar I think it turned out great it's a great representation for uh, lupus warriors and lupus community um, you know beautiful beautiful swirl Turned out super great. Pretty butterfly sticking out, flying away. The hand painted butterfly, super the glitter sparkly is glitter. Super nice. Yeah, the glitter is beautiful, um, and this glitter is from the good glitter. The good glitter, and we happen to be an affiliate. So, um, if you use the code teaspoon, all lowercase, you can get ten percent off Which is of your good glitter order. Um, and you can use that glitter for a whole bunch of a wide variety yeah, of stuff. just not soap. You can use it for crafts and slime and you can put it in your lotion and makeup. Yeah. yeah, you can. It's great. Um, super great and great for the environment, which is super important. Um, but um, yeah, this bar 
It smells oh. so good. It's, it smells very nice, pretty florals. I think beautiful. it's my favorite for this month. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. I like the food ones. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it turned out great. And um, you can buy this bar on May 3rd along with the rest of our um, May collection um, at teaspoonsopery.com and our Etsy store, which is also Teaspoon Soapery. And um, if you'd like sneak peeks of what we're working on, um, upcoming soaps and whatnot, you can follow us on Instagram, which is also Teaspoon, teaspoon Soapery. soapery. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.